Solomon Mfangu and Mondi Motlang have a common purpose. They left the country together. They underwent military training together. You're not mercenaries, you're freedom fighters. Are we clear? Yes, sir. And together, they terrorized the people of South Africa. They had a common purpose. And that purpose was murder. Welcome to Pretoria Central Maximum Security Prison. When you leave here, it'll be in a coffin. There is no punishment that you can lay out in this court. No law, no government can pass. That will kill the will of the people. Because we will fight. We will continue to fight. Until all our people are free. saliendo con otro mamagüevo. Que yo me entere nada más. Where's he going? But now, me and you, meet him under the tree. Okay. 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 You know those outer body experiences where you look around and say, this shit isn't happening to me? My only one I can compare it to is when I got pulled over for speeding in Kitchener. Cop asked me to step out of the car because I had a blot in the ashtray. What is a blunt? You know, grass, marijuana. That isn't tolerated in America. I'm Canadian. Sorry, brother. I forget. Well, please don't forget when I get shot here. I want my body sent to the right country. No one will shoot you. Bame, whatever. No, no, no. Zit iemand daar binnen en horen wat ons oor en oor kan wees? Ja, je vast terug. Die klink hoor ons. Je het al onze kleren aan, maar je eet sy vij en weet van kwetelsies. Ek ken niemand anders hoe sê nie. Die tag het koel gewat aan die kretoe wat kijk kuise. Van Merel! Hoe durf jy? Hy het niks gedoen wat ek hier toegelaat het. Sy ken van hulle geword. Hulle noem maar Eva. Het jou mense betrie? Het jou self en jou stam onteer? Jy het my hier gelos! Alleen en ek was nog net een kind! Jou mense het jou verwerp. Hoekom wil jy hulle beskerm? Hulle is my bloed. Laat my uit! Ek is die goeie van die eerste dag! Jy het my hele leven verwerp. Preciso vos dizer uma coisa que muito me custa. A vossa esposa, minha Beatriz, ainda não teve as regras. Não tem medo, não. Beatriz, minha filha, agora vós me ser dona de tudo isso aqui. Tenho medo. Tenho medo, não. Pai filho. Se eu não pode saber disso, ele mata nós. Fique quieta, que eu sei. E três?
housing in Hungary. Donc, il m'a visé toujours là. Putain, mais qu'est-ce qu'il fout là, lui C'est moi qui l'ai invité. Myriam, tu me fais chier, là, franchement. Je te devrais te voir, là, jouer les petites filles modèles devant lui. T'es ridicule. Fabrice, on pas, je permettre moi, de juger famille. Alors, s'il vous plaît. Mais quoi Qu'est-ce que j'ai dit encore J'ai simplement dit que tu avais raison. Mais je m'en fous d'avoir raison, Fabrice. C'est pas ça, le problème. I got a phone call from a person in the police department, a high-ranking person in the police department, a detective. He said, Reverend Peters, we're trying to find uh, the family of Marvin Booker. So I told them how to contact his family, still not knowing any of the circumstances of what happened to Marvin. It came out later as you well know, that they beat him to death in the jail, on tape. Aquela cocheira aí no Cabo dos Cavalos, mergulhado nos carneiros lá no, na gama. Vocês eram remunerados? Não. Olha só a comida e mais nada. E assim vem a vida. Esse período é o mais racista da nossa história. Acabou o escravo, mas aí como que nós vamos inferiorizar os trabalhadores? As teorias da superioridade racial branca floresciam. Precisava higienizar o povo brasileiro. A sociedade era essa que aceitava tais ideologias e tais práticas como sendo não só é, comuns, como louváveis. A minha infância foi roubada. Cheguei a mão e eu pá! Ficava de braço aberto, joelhado em cima de, de grão de milho e tudo. Deus do livro, só escutava o um grito. Tomara que ninguém passe do que passei. Fugir. É a única coisa que a gente pensava, mais nada. I got one more big show. The Montreal Jazz Festival owes a lot of its success to Oliver. Monsieur Oliver Jones and the Oliver Jones Trio. Merci. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to everyone. For four decades, Catch One was a legendary Los Angeles nightclub. 
It was an institution where celebrities, politicians, and everyday people of all colors, cultures, and backgrounds converged. The catch came to be known as the unofficial Studio 54 of the West Coast. The bangingest music. You came here prepared to dance. I've danced in this club in jock straps. <laughs> with cowboy boots. And I would go in there and dance and everyone would leave me alone. It's a fat club and it's a fat neighborhood. Catch was uh, created to fulfill a need. At the time that uh, we opened, 19, mid 1970s, there was still an abundance of, of racism. The Catch offered a place where any and everybody could come. We've encountered a lot of racism in our, in our days, you know. They throw things at us. I'm Jewel Tice Williams. I wear lots and lots of hats. She started off with four strikes. Not only was she poor, not only was she a woman, she was a lesbian, and on top of that, a black woman. I can see the spirits that walk among us. I don't believe in Obia. It's not Obia. It's a religion. So you believe? <gasps> You're frightened of me, don't you? Oh, hey! For the good of our people, you must sacrifice yourself. No! You will heal others by taking on their pain. You will see before it happens. Toi, ma rêve, mon boy. J'aime des sandwich machine, moi. J'aime ouvrir le coffre, moi. J'aime quand des sous-routes sous aucun prétexte. Mais ça va, ma chérie. Chut. Bonne vie, là. Ouvre le coffre, là. On fout ça. On te fout qu'il y a de ça. Fuck that. Mon dieu. Vite, on. Pardon, monsieur. Pardon. Babi, comme ça. Chut. Je vais faire un caca, on l'a dit.